Good morning. My name is Senator Mohamed Ali Ndume, a senator representing Borno South, and by God's grace, the Chief Whip of the Senate. Comrades, I come here in solidarity. Let me say one thing. Please, I beg you in the name of God, let us take what we are doing serious. Let us know that God is watching us. Let us not come here to only wave flags and then sing songs and go back. Let us solve the problem that is in this country. As I come to speak to you, I swear to God, I speak because I know what I went through to escape poverty. The, the president, the former, the immediate, the immediate president of MLC, uh, NLC is from my constituency and he knows me very well. I'm a son of the poor that became somebody without knowing anybody. That time, Nigeria was working. I was able to go to public school. I was able to go to public higher institution. I was able to get three jobs at a time. Wow. Wow. But now, things have changed. Yeah. Who changed is we. And we are supposed to do the change. The National Assembly are your representatives. I came here by the grace of God and by the grace of our people, especially the workers. I am six-time member of the National Assembly. By the grace of God and by the support I receive from people like Waba. Therefore, comrades, please, let us be serious. We have a problem in this country. The problem is both. We have to solve this problem ourselves. Let me tell you that whether we like it or not, as we are representative, we must represent you. In response to what the leadership is doing, the National Assembly, especially the Senate, we have been following keenly what is going on. When we realize that there is a breakdown in the discussion between the presidency and the NLC, day before yesterday, one of our colleagues brought a motion on this labor crisis that we are facing and the need for the Senate to intervene. There is a motion that we passed on Monday when we sat, before we started the screening, we brought that motion and all the members of the Senate were co-sponsors. And that is to look at what is happening. Why is the negotiation stopped? We have a problem. The NLC is discussing with the presidency. I understand now what the president is saying. I am in support, and I said it before, that the NLC should be negotiating with either the president or the vice president. And if, and if because of their schedule, then an acceptable representation will continue the discussion. We stand with you on that. And as I said, please have confidence in the National Assembly or give us a trial. Let the Senate, the leadership, be involved in the negotiation. One of us here is from the Labour Party. I am from the governing party. Two of them are here. They cannot afford, they cannot afford to betray you or fail you. If they do that, after 1,400 days, that is three, four years, they will come back to look for your votes. So they know what they will happen if they fail you. Please, let us be serious. Let us not just come here, wave flags, and then we are this thing and leave this thing like that. Let us find permanent solution to this and the solutions can be achieved. As you said, refineries are not working. Dangote started the refinery and he was to com complete it. Nothing was there. Let us ask these questions. And it is not enough 
to say give money to the local refineries. How much have been given to them and what happened? Nothing. So let us find concrete solution to our problem. I am taking this letter back to the leadership of which I am one. And as the president was reading them out, I was paying attention. The Senate will make this uh, demand their terms of reference. And uh, please, as I said, this is a message, a very strong one. But we are all Nigerians. This country belongs to all of us. As long as we are involved in the negotiation, we should also consider the consequences of our action. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the people that will suffer more are our people. The people that harass you at the gate are the poor. There is no son of a senator that is constable or sergeant out there. So, where is the problem? The problem is with us. When I was told that you are bad at the gate there, the insurgent attempts is here. He can bear me witness. He called me. He said, the chief whip, there are labor people out there and uh, the police have blocked them. I told him, allow them to come in and wait for us to come and address them. So it's not that we are completely insensitive. We are Nigerians. As I said, most of us, most of us, unfortunately, that are maltreating our own are from the poor. How many are need rich Nigerians? There are very few. Majority of our senators are from the poor. Majority of the police harassing us are from the poor. Majority of those people that are doing all these things are the poor. They are just lucky to be in part of a security and then you are in the labor. That's the difference. So, let us, Mr. President, I give you my word and I give the leadership your word. And also, you should let Nigerians know what is going on. It is not enough for us to gather here and talk about this. We should carry Nigerians alone. We should carry Nigerians alone. And then we should be considerate to the impact or the effect of our actions on Nigerians. So that if you are fighting somebody, if you are fighting somebody and you don't want to, or you, you are not supposed to kill him, please beat him, don't kill him. So if you are beating in order to teach that person a lesson, if you kill him, then it becomes another thing. So don't kill us, please. Beat us, beat us, but don't kill us. Beat, beat us, beat us, I understand. When you disagree with somebody, you can slap him. But if you shoot him, he is dead. So slap us, but don't shoot us. If you shoot the system, then everybody will suffer. And you too will suffer because if you don't have me, then you are not okay. If your neighbor is hungry and you are okay, you are not okay. So please, Mr. President, reconsider this and give the Senate the chance and then if we fail you, then of course you can go back to your position. I beg you in the name of God, this should serve as a warning to the presidency, to the National Assembly, to everybody. Then if nothing very tangible comes out of our effort, then you can take action. Thank you very much. To implement what we have agreed. As I said, we have formed a committee. I have told the president now that between today and tomorrow, we will call the first meeting with the labor and start the discussion where they will brief you. And as I said, this discussion and engagement will continue and we will do our best as we are representative to come out with a solution acceptable to you and realistic enough. Thank you very much.